Hey, we're here at the Snake River in uh, Idaho. Over here, Shag. I'm trying to teach him to bring the stick to me. Over here, Shaggy. Because there's not many around here, and uh, this is a good one. Over here, Shag. Don't put it there again. It's all muddy. Shag, bring a stick. Bring stick. Get stick. Come on. Get the stick. Well, then you're out of luck, buddy. Because that's it. There's not many around here. Got a uh, flat rock campgrounds right over there, and people want to burn everything that's not nailed down, so you don't have a lot of sticks laying around. Lucky there's any trees left. This is our spot. I have spots all over the west that are mine, and this is one of them. We haven't named this spot, but this tree's part of it. See how it's all shady up to the shore, which is you can't find that anywhere else. And then the truck's right down this way. And that's Flat Rock Campground. We camped up in there last summer. We haven't done it this year because it's a little dirty in there. I'd rather be where we're at in Montana and drive over here. It's a nice day trip. But we're a good gallon of gas closer than the Island Park Reservoir we usually go to. And I figured since it was Sunday, it'd be better just to come here because there's probably a lot of people launching boats over there and there's no beach. Let's find Shaggy a stick. And it's pretty relaxing here. I think this is as far as we'll come in Idaho today and then we'll go back. I've got a barbecue planned. I bought chicken breast, boneless chicken breast, green pepper, onion, some snap peas. And I'm going to make a pot of brown rice and I've got teriyaki sauce for the whole thing. It's going to be... The only thing I don't have today is the corn on the cob. I forgot it, but it's going to be pretty damn good. I could stop at Robin's Roost, but I didn't see any corn on the cob. It's going to be pretty darn good. See, you don't see any sticks laying around. And people come in here and collect everything and burn it, so... Here's another spot right here. We never use this one, but you could come further up right to here. You know, this is shady. Pretty nice. We gotta go stay in our spot because everyone's gonna come try to claim it for fishing. Ooh, here's a stick. Here's a stick. Get out of here. He's not getting it till we get back to our spot. Ooh, here's another one. Okay, we got two sticks. Yeah, it's like he hasn't been in the water for the last hour. Oh, that's piercing. That's ear piercing. You just want to hit him with the stick instead. Oh. He's waking up this whole side of Idaho. Okay, let's leave the one here. He sure loves that game. Now see he's got a he's got an intercept it going downstream. Where is he? I can't see him. There he is. You got it. Takes a little brain power to do that. To be able to swim at the right angle to intercept it. I guess a fetcher dog would be able to do that. Apache's over here. Not happy at all. She never is. Luckily, nobody's trying to fish here. Yeah, we're just going to go this far today, and that's it. Beautiful spot. He actually brought the stick back, so I got to reward that. Good boy, Shaggy. Good boy. This is that Snake River that in the previous videos, the Johnny Sachs cabin and the uh, spring where we uh, hiked down to where the water come out of the ground. 
that those springs there's a couple of them up there it's all one spring but different spots where it where it comes up out of the ground that's what feeds this river so this river stays a constant 52 degrees some people say 54 52 to 54 degrees all year round and it never freezes in the winter so that's pretty cool and then remember our other video where I had the sign that said uh, danger rapids ahead danger rapids ahead it's around the corner up there and then that hike we took on this side of the river up in the Grizz country that's on this side of the river that was a coffee pot campground video and this is Flat Rock campground where I camped last year and uh, my truck's right over there I don't know if I showed that already but uh, we camped up the hill there and I just don't like the campground because it's, it's a all dirt dirt road and it gets pretty pretty bad in there and I got all well I got one ham radio with me in the shortwave and I don't want to let stuff get in the radios I don't like it getting in the trailer period it's just too dirty if they had paved that through there this would be a great campground I don't know why they don't and there's a boat over here That's the same rock that makes up the Tucson Mountains, right there. Same rock that makes up a lot of mountains. He's over there laying in the mud, chewing on the stick. But here's the boat. Wouldn't that be fun? You can actually rent one of those up there at Max. We take that canoe trip every year. <clears throat> But with one person, and I don't know how to—I don't know how to row that kind of boat. Shaggy, Shaggy. Nope, he ain't chasing a small stick. <laughs> Should we waste the other big one we brought? All right, let's do it. This is a good one too. Shake it, baby! Isn't it beautiful here? This is all stuff I found just roaming around. Roaming around the West. People don't think great things when they hear Idaho, but I do, because Idaho is a beautiful state. It's like the uh, best kept secret out west, you know, last to be discovered. I mean, Oregon too, but you know, I'm not into the Pacific Northwest and all the rain and, you know, Idaho is still relatively, well, relatively dry. Okay, Patch. From the Snake River in Idaho, Island Park, we're clear.